David Smith, please report to the Secretary's office immediately. All best of breeds for the Terrier group, please report to the collecting ring immediately. All best of breeds in the Terrier group, please report to the collecting ring immediately. Could Stuart Band please come to the main ring? Stuart Band, could you come to the main ring, please?
have heavy breeze down there. Have your receiver back turned up over my seven. both jumping at the same pace. I'll get a jump when I get a track apart. With all best puppy in the Terrier group, please make their way to ring 23. All best puppies in the Terrier group, please make their way to ring 23 now.
This is the last call for the Terrier group. To the collecting ring now, and also with the pup, best puppy in the Terrier group, please report to ring 23. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Windsor. And the first group today will be the Terrier group. Jeff Corrish is the judge. Jeff is one of the few all breeds professional handlers in the UK. Jeff has won every major award in the show ring, including two best in shows at Crofts, one with the West Island White Terrier and the other with the Laza Apsol. He's one of the few owner handlers to have won best in short crafts and then also to judge best in short crafts, the latter being in 2013. Under his sea law affix, Jeff has been showing terriers for over 36 years. Please give him a big hand as he's escorted into the ring by our chairman, Gerald King. First into the ring comes the Airedale Terrier, followed by the Australian Terrier, the Bedlington Terrier, the Border Terrier, the Bull Terrier, the Bull Terrier Miniature, the Cairn Terrier, the Chesky Terrier, the Dandy Dinmont Terrier, the Fox Terrier Smooth, the Fox Terrier Wire, the Glen of Imal, the Irish Terrier, the Jack Russell Terrier, the Kerry Blue Terrier, the Lakeland Terrier, the Manchester Terrier, Norfolk Terrier, Norwich Terrier, the Parson Russell Terrier, the Scottish Terrier, the Celium Terrier, Sky Terrier, the Soft Coated Wheaton Terrier, the Welsh Terrier, and the Best Island White Terrier.
The first dog to be assessed is the Airedale Terrier, judged today by Mr. R. Turner from an entry of 20. Best of breed was the bitch, number 21. The Airedale is believed to have been the result of crossing the ancient working terrier and the otter hound almost 150 years ago. Known as the king of terriers, because he is the largest by far of all in the group, its name comes from either the River Ayr in Yorkshire or the Airedale Shoal. Number 21, the Airedale Terrier. On to the table, we have the Australian Terrier. Martin Phillips was the judge today, and from an entry of 11, he chose number seven, 27, the bitch, as his best of breed. The Australian Terrier was developed in Australia in the early 20th century, along similar lines to the Australian Silky Terrier, by crossbreeding the Yorkshire, Skye, Norwich, and Cairn Terriers brought to the UK by immigrants. The breed was recognised by the Kennel Club in 1936, the Australian Terrier. Number 27, the Australian Terrier. On the table now is the Beglington Terrier. Mark Cocosa was the judge, and from an entry of 36, he chose the bitch, number 39, as his best of breed. The Beglington was developed around 1880 by Northern English miners, possibly by combining Dandy Dinmonts, Otter Hounds, and Whippet Bloodlines. The breed takes its name from the small town of Bedlington in Northumberland. It was once known as the Rothbury Terrier and can boast a longer traceable pedigree than any other terrier, the Bedlington Terrier.
Number 39, the Bedlington Terrier. On the table now, we have the Border Terrier. Professor Dean judged the breed today, and from an entry of 103, he chose the dog, number 97, as his best of breed. Border Terriers were bred to go gra to ground after foxes. The Border Terrier was bred in the border regions between Scotland and England. Once known as the Cockettdale Terrier, its present day name was adopted around 1880. The breed was not recognised by the Kennel Club for another 40 years until 1920, the, the Border Terrier. Number 97, the Border Terrier. Now we have the Bull Terrier, judged today by Mrs. W. Whitaker from an entry of 37. She chose the dog, number 173, as her best of breed. Apologies, Simon Parsons judged Bull Terriers today. Bull Terriers came around in 1830 when bull baiting was at its height and a more agile dog was desirable. James Hinks is believed to be responsible for the standardization of breed type 20 years later and the egg-shaped head prevailed. No weight or height is stipulated for this breed, the bull terrier. the Bull Terrier. On the table, the Bull Terrier miniature, judged today by Mrs. Wendy Whitaker. From an entry of 28, she chose the dog, number 217, as her best of breed. The miniature is a smaller version of the Bull Terrier, and the breed standard is exactly the same insofar as there should be an impression of substance to size of dog, with one exception. Namely, that it is a requirement that it should not exceed 14 inches in height. The Bull Terrier Miniature. The Miniature Bull Terrier, number 217. On the table now, we have the Cairn Terrier. Martin Phillips was the judge, and from an entry of 44, he chose the bitch, number 237, as his best of breed. Dogs of Cairn type can be traced back to 1500, believed to have been bred to predate on small animals who hid in cairns, or small stone monuments in its native Scotland. When it was first exhibited in 1909, it was known as the Short-Haired Sky Terrier and recognised as the Cairn Terrier by the Kennel Club in 1912, the Cairn Terrier. Number 237, the Cairn Terrier. On the table now is the Chesky Terrier. Mrs. B. Deacon was the judge, 
And today, from an entry of 23, she chose the bitch, number 295, as her best of breed. The breed was developed by the bohemian geneticist Frantisek Horak by crossing Scottish Terriers with Celian Terriers and was officially recognised in 1963. When it was first introduced to the UK in 1990, the Kennel Club helpfully suggested in its interim breed standard that it was pronounced the Sesky Terrier, but we now call it the Chesky. Number 295, the Chesky Terrier. On the table now is the Dandy Dinamont Terrier. Mr. N. Straw was our judge today, and from an entry of 37, he chose the dog, number 312, as best of breed. It's believed the Dandy was developed in the 1600s to hunt badger and otters. It only received its present day name some 200 years later, when a similar dog appeared in St. Walter Scott's novel, Gay Mannering. The dog in question was owned by the protagonist, Dandy Dinmont, and the rest, so they say, is history. The Dandy Dinmont Terrier. Number 312, the Dandy Dinmont Terrier. On the table now is the Fox Terrier Smooth. Judged today by Mrs. E. Baldwin from an entry of 22, she selected the bitch, number 349, as best of breed. The Fox Terrier Smooth probably owes its, its existence to the same types of dog which produced the Bull Terrier and the Black and Tan, now Manchester, Terriers. Uniformity of type was not achieved until the late 1800s and the original standard was created in 1876 and was the first of the Fox Terriers. The Fox Terrier Smooth. Number 349, the Fox Terrier Smooth. On the table now is the Fox Terrier Wire. Mr. K. Bartlett judged the breed, and from an entry of 20, he selected the dog, number 362, as his best of breed. It's probable that this dog was developed before the Smooth, yet it did not appear in the show ring until 20 years after the Wire made its debut. A strain of rough-coated terriers was kept for 55 years by the Reverend Jack Russell, who gave his name to a breed with which we are familiar, but that's another tale, the Fox Terrier Wire. Number 362, the Fox Terrier Wire. On the table now is the Glen of Imal Terrier. Judged today by Mr. Frank Kane, from an entry of 23, he selected the bitch, number 386, as his best of breed. The name Glen of Imal originates from County Wicklow in Ireland. First recognised by the Irish Kennel Club in 1930, 
until the banning of Badger trials in 1966, the Glen had to earn a certificate at a trial, as well as winning in the show ring before it could be called a champion, the Glen of Imal Terrier. Number 386, the Glen of Imal Terrier. On the table now is the Irish Terrier. Mrs. S. Grant Hemmings judged the breed today, and from an entry of 37, she selected the dog, number 391, as best of breed. The Irish was once known as the Irish Red Terrier. It may be the oldest of all the terriers native to Ireland. A medal was conferred complete scorn for danger, the Irish Terrier. Number 391, the Irish Terrier. On the table now is the Jack Russell Terrier. Miss Anne Bradley judged the breed today, and from an entry of 36, she selected the dog, number 439, as her best of breed. Australia is credited as the country where the breed was developed in the 1960s and 70s. Officially recognised by the FCI in 1919, the Australian Jack Russell, the UK breed standard was created incorporating the British breed club standard and the Australian and FCI breed standards, the Jack Russell Terrier. Number 439, the Jack Russell Terrier. Five as his best of breed. The Lakeland was developed in the 19th century but did not get its name until the formation of a club in 1912. It was recognised by the Kennel Club nine years later in 1921. It was the first breed to win at both Crafts and Westminster and this achievement was commemorated by a trophy which was presented to the Kennel Club by the American Kennel Club, the Lakeland Terrier.
Number 475, the Lakeland Terrier. On the table is the Manchester Terrier. And Bradley judged this breed, and from an entry of 26, she chose the dog, number 489, as her best of breed. Not surprisingly, the Manchester actually hails from this city. Rat killing reached its peak in the mid-1800s until the custom of rat baiting in pits was banned. Weekly shows were, in those days, held in public houses in Manchester, where these dogs had classes of their own, eventually taking the city's name. Originally, there were two sizes, and this is the larger of the two, the Manchester Terrier. Number 489, the Manchester Terrier. On the table, the Norfolk Terrier. Mrs. R.G. judged the breed today, and from an entry of 33, she selected the dog, number 537, as her best of breed. The Norfolk takes its name from its county of origin. In the mid-1800s, there was a generic farm dog in East Anglia which owes its beginnings to Glen of Emiles, Red Cairn Terriers, and Dandy Dinmonts. And the resultant red, red progeny emerged as the Norfolk. Liz Cartledge told me how to tell this breed apart from its cousin, but the explanation is a tad racy to repeat here, the Norfolk Terrier. Number 537, the Norfolk Terrier. On the table now is the Norwich Terrier. Mr. N. Straw judged the breed and from an entry of 20, selected the dog, number 542, as his best of breed. The Norwich was once known as the mascot of the students at the colleges of Cambridge University. It became known locally as the Trumpington Terrier, after the street where many students lodged. The breed almost disappeared during World War I. Its devotees are of the opinion that it's more mild-mannered than its cousin, but that may simply be biased. The Norwich Terrier. Number 542, the Norwich Terrier. On the table is the Parson Russell Terrier. Mr. Paul Erdley judged the breed today, and from an entry of 40, he selected the dog, number 592, as his best of breed. Named after the hunting parson, Reverend John Russell, who is credited with the creation of this type of dog, the recognised show variety of the Jack Russell Terrier was recognised by the Kennel Club in 1990 and was given the name Parson Jack Russell Terrier. This was later changed to Parson Russell Terrier in 1999 and this, this name has been universally acknowledged since 2008, the Parson Russell Terrier. Number 592, the Parson Russell Terrier. On the table is the Scottish Terrier. Miss M. Hare judged the breed today, and from an entry of 46, she selected the bitch, number 605, as her best of breed.
The Scottish Terrier was probably known originally as the Aberdeen Terrier. The breed standard was created in 1881. Captain Gordon Murray is regarded as the leading light in the breed and he was strongly supported by the founder and first chairman of the Kennel Club, Mr. Siwala Evelyn Shirley, the Scottish Terrier. Number 605, the Scottish Terrier. On the table is the Celian Terrier. Miss J. Moyes judged the breed today, and from an entry of 21, the bitch, number 656, was her choice for best of breed. The Celian owes its creation to Captain John Owen Tucker Edwards, who lived in Celian in Pembrokeshire. He had a vision of the perfect terrier. From a mix of the Welsh Corgi, Dandy Dinman, West Highland White, Bull Terrier and Wire Fox Terriers, he produced a dog which eventually would become the Celia. The breed recognised, ke received Kennel Club recognition in 1911. The Celian Terrier. The Celium Terrier, number 656. On the table now is the Sky Terrier. Martin Phillips judged the breed today, and from his entry of 19, he selected the bitch, number 678, as his best of breed. The majority of Sky Terriers have prick ears, but there is also a drop-eared variety. Once known as the Terrier of the Western Isles, it evolved into the dog we now see today. Perhaps the most famous example of the breed is Greyfriars Bobby, who took up a vigil at his master's grave in Greyfriars Churchyard in Edinburgh around 1858 until his death. The Sky Terrier. Number 678, the Sky Terrier. Next we have the soft-coated Wheaton Terrier. Miss J. Moyes was the judge today, and from a selection of 35, she selected the bitch, number 704, as her best of breed. The soft-coated Wheaton originates in Ireland some 200 years ago and shares its ancestry with the Kerry Blue and Irish Terriers. It was not known outside of County Kerry for many years, where it was used to hunt badgers and otters, like its Irish cousins. The breed has two coat types, the Irish, which is silkier and wavier, than the heavy or American, which is thicker and fuller. The soft-coated Wheaton Tech. Number 704, the soft-coated Wheaton Terrier. Now we have the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. Mr. G. Faulkner was the judge today, and from an entry of 138, he selected the dog, number 763, as his best of breed. The Staffordshire comes from the Black County of Staffordshire, 
and shares the same ancestry as the Bull Terrier. It's a popular family dog and has a reputation as a child's playmate and guardian due to its gentle disposition. Its puppy registration figures exceeded over 5,000 in 2020, the top figure for terriers, the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. Number 763, the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. On the table now is the Welsh Terrier. Mr A Westwood judged the breed today, and from an entry of 21, he selected the dog, number 847, as his best of breed. The Welsh Terrier may have a common origin with the Lakeland Terrier, as their Celtic owners retreated to the Welsh mountains and the Lake District prior to the Roman invasion of Britain. Some claim it may be the oldest exiting dog breed in the UK. An early name was the Welsh black and tan rough-coated terrier, the Welsh terrier. Number 847, the Welsh Terrier. And the final dog to be examined, the West Highland White Terrier. Paul Erdley was the breed judge today, and from an entry of 31, he selected the bitch, number 862, as his best of breed. The West Highland White came about after a Cairn Terrier breeder in Argyll, Scotland, had some white puppies in his litters. With careful selection, these were bred together to obtain the West Highland White Terrier, which could almost be described simply as a white cairn to the uninitiated eye, although the Westie has a shorter body and a higher tail carriage. The West Highland White Terrier. Number 862, the West Highland White Terrier. Jeff's now having a final look before he decides to make a short list. First into the ring, the Australian Terrier, the Border Terrier, the Fox Terrier Smooth, the Jack Russell Terrier, the Manchester Terrier, the Parson Jock Russell Terrier, the Celium Terrier, the Sky Terrier, the Welsh Terrier, and the West Highland White Terrier. Can you give the others a big hand as they leave the ring, please?
We're now moving the dogs again. First, the Australian Terrier. The Border Terrier. The Fox Terrier Smooth. The Jack Russell Terrier. The Manchester Terrier. The Jack Russell Terrier. Now we have the Celium Terrier. The Sky Terrier. The Welsh Terrier. And now we have the West Island White Terrier.
We're now ready for the boards, and it looks as though Mr. Corish has made his mind up. And the winner of the Terrier Group is the Border Collie, or the Border Terrier. <laughs> Group two is the West Highland White Terrier. Group three, the Sky Terrier. And group four, the Parson Russell Terrier. Please give the others a big hand as they leave the ring. Thank you. The trophy today is going to be presented by Sue Wilkinson of Windsor and the rosettes by Jonathan Wilsonholm, representing Royal Cannon, one of our main sponsors. Please give the group winner a big hand. There is also a wonderful sash from our dogs and a Windsor gift to the group winner. Take them around, please. The Border Terrier Group 1, the West Highland Terrier Group 2, the Sky Terrier Group 3, and the Parson Russell Terrier Group 4. The group winners will be photographed in the main ring, but all other placings will be done in the admin tent.
ladies and gentlemen, Derek Smith is the judge of all of the puppy groups at Windsor. Please give him a big hand as he's being escorted into the ring by our chairman, Gerald Kane. First into the ring is the Chesky Terrier, followed by the Glen of the Mal Terrier, the Irish Terrier, the Fox Terrier Smooth. All of those four have not yet been judged. We now have the Airedale Terrier, the Bedlington Terrier, the Bull Terrier, the Cairn Terrier, the Dandy Dinmont Terrier, the Jack Russell Terrier, the Kerry Blue Terrier, Manchester Terrier, Norfolk Terrier, Norwich Terrier, Parson Russell Terrier, Scottish Terrier, Celium Terrier, Sky Terrier, Soft Coated Wheaton Terrier, Bull Terrier Miniature, the Welsh Terrier, and the West Island White Terrier. Apologies, it was the Staffordshire Bull Terrier, I didn't see the number. And th the first puppy to be judged is the Chesky Terrier. Terrier veterans to the collecting ring, please. Terrier veterans to the collecting ring. And on the table, the Dandy Dinamont, the, sorry, the Glen of Imal Terrier. This is the Irish Terrier on the table.
And the final dog that has to be seen by Mr. Smith is the Fox Terrier Smooth. Derek's now having one last walk around to see all of the puppies before he's in a position to reach any decision on his placings. He's now bringing out the Dandy Dinmont Terrier, the Jack Russell Terrier, the Norwich Terrier, the Parson Russell Terrier, the Sky Terrier, the Soft Coated Wheaton Terrier, the West Highland White Terrier, and the Fox Terrier Smooth. Please give all the others a big hand as they're leaving the ring. We're now having one last move, the Dandy Dinmont Terrier. The Jack Russell Terrier. The Cairn Terrier. Terrier Group 2, collecting ring by one B, please. Veteran Terrier Group to the collecting ring by one B, now please. The Parson Russell Terrier. The Sky Terrier.
the South Colton Wheaton Terrier. The West Island White Terrier. And the Fox Terrier is smooth. He's now asking for the boards to be brought into place, so clearly Derek has made his mind up. And the winner of the Puppy Terrier Group at Windsor is the Fox Terrier Smooth. Puppy Group 2 is the Norwich Terrier. Puppy Group 3, the Dandy Dinmont Terrier. And Puppy Group 4, the Sky Terrier. Please give the others a big hand as they're leaving the ring, folks. The trophy is going to be presented by Mrs. Sue Wilkinson of Windsor Committee and rosettes are being brought in by Jonathan Rooston Home, representative of Royal Cannon, one of our principal sponsors. Please take them round, the winner of the Puppy Terrier Group, the Fox Terrier Smooth, followed by the Norwich Terrier Group 2, the Dandy Dinmont Terrier Group 3, and the Sky Terrier Group 4. The group winners will have their photograph taken in the main ring and the second, third and fourth placings will be in the admin block. Thank you.
all veteran groups at Windsor this year are also being judged by Mr. Derek Smith, who kindly stepped in to replace Meg Purnell Carpenter, who sadly deceased earlier this year. So please give Derek a big hand. And because he was judging the puppy groups, he has not had the opportunity to judge any of the veterans. So they'll all be judged by Derek once they've come into the ring. First to come into the ring is the Bedlington Terrier, followed by the Border Terrier, the Cairn Terrier, the Dandy Dinmont Terrier, the Irish Terrier, the Norfolk Terrier, the Scottish Terrier, the Soft-Coated Wheaton Terrier, the Staffordshire Bull Terrier, and the West Highland White Terrier. in the toy group, please make your way to the collecting ring at the bottom of ring 1B, please. All best of breeds in the toy group to the collecting ring in 1B. Best puppies in toy group, please make their ring to, way to ring 23. First on the table is the Bedlington Terrier, judged today by Mr. Mark Kukosa, and his veteran selection was number 38. Now uh, we have the Border Terrier on the table. Professor Steve Dean was the judge and his veteran winner today is the bitch, number 165. Now we have the Cairn Terrier. Martin Phillips was the judge and his veteran winner was the bitch, number 238.
Now we have the Glen of Imal Terrier. Frank Kane was the judge today, and his veteran selection was the dog, number 374. Now we have the Irish Terrier. Mrs. S. Grant Hemmings was the judge and her veteran winner today was the bitch number 421. Now we have the Norwich Terrier. Mrs. R.G. was the judge and her veteran winner today was the dog, number 527. On the table, we now have the Scottish Terrier. Miss F. Herd was the judge, and her veteran winner was the dog, number 599. Now we have the soft-coated Wheaton Terrier. Miss J. Moyes was the judge today and her veteran was the dog, number 714.
Now we have the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. Mr. G. Faulkner was the judge today and his veteran winner was number 782, the dog. Best of race to the toy group for the collecting ring, please, in 1B. All best of race in the toy group to the collecting ring in 1B. Thank you. And the final dog is the West Highland White Terrier. Paul Erdley was the judge, and his veteran was the dog, number 874. Mr. Smith is now moving all the veterans round the ring once more prior to making his selection. We're now ready for the boards, so Mr. Smith has clearly made his mind up. And the winner of the Terrier Veteran Group Windsor is the West Highland White Terrier. Veteran Group 2, the Norfolk Terrier. Veteran Group 3, the Border Terrier. And Veteran Group 4, the Bedlington Terrier. Please give the rest a big round of applause as they leave the ring. Thank you. Mrs. Sue Wilkinson is presenting the trophy on behalf of Windsor and Rosettes by Jonathan Rustenholm, who is the representative of Royal Cannon, one of our principal sponsors.
Please take them round the ring. The veteran Terrier Group winner, the West Highland White Terrier. Veteran Group 2, the Norfolk Terrier. Veteran Group 3, the Border Terrier. And Veteran Group 4, the Bedlington Terrier. The group winner will have his photograph taken in the main ring and the other placings will be done in the admin office. All best puppy in breed in the toy group to ring 23, please. All best of puppy in breed to ring 23, please. Grace Godwin is the toy group win judge today. Grace first showed a Pekingese at Windsor and her first judging appointment was also here at the show. It was pugs with no CCs and her best of breed went best in show. Well known for her Pekingese, Grace has also shown a great dame to its championship title. Her famous Pekingese champion Delwyn Paddy O'Reilly one reserve in the toy group here at Windsor. Escorted into the main ring today by our chairman, Gerald King, please give Grace a very warm Windsor welcome. And first into the ring is the Affen Pincher, followed by the Bolognese, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, the Chihuahua Longcoat, the Chihuahua Smoothcoat, the Chinese Crested, the Cotton de Tulear, the English Toy Terrier Black and Tan, the Griffin Broussailois, the Havanese, the Italian Greyhound, the Japanese Chin, the King Charles Spaniel, the Lotion, the Maltese, the Miniature Pincher, the Papillon, the Pekingese, the Pomeranian, the Pug, the Yorkshire Terrier, 
and the Russian Toy Terrier. The Bichon Frise Best of Breed has withdrawn and sends apologies. First on the table is the Affenpinscher. Frank Payne was the judge today, and from an entry of 61, he chose the bitch, number 898, as his best of breed. This charming little breed is also known as the Monkey Terrier, and it can be traced back to the 1600s in its native Germany. The modern day breed was re-established in the UK in the 1970s, with the importation of a few dogs from the United States. The breed was accorded CC status by the Kennel Club over 30 years ago in 1992, the Affenpinscher. The Affenpinscher, number 898. <laughs> On the table, we have the Bolognese. Carl Sparrow was the judge, and from an entry of 25, he selected the dog, number 1016, as his best of breed. The Bolognese has had a long association with the Italian aristocracy since the 15th century. It owes its popularity in the UK to Paul and Liz Stannard, who were the original importers of the breed in 1989. I am proud to have been one of the founder committee members of the British Bolognese Club in 1994. The breed has yet to attain CC status and is still classified as a rare breed, the Bolognese. The Bolognese, number 1016. On the table is the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Mrs. S. Chapman was the judge today, and her best of breed was the dog, number 1028, from an entry of 119. Although it goes back for several centuries, the breed was revived and subsequently recognised by the Kennel Club as being distinct from the King Charles Spaniel only as recently as 1944. It's interesting to note that some of today's recognised colours were developed by peers of the realm, the Dukes of Marlborough and Norfolk, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, number 1028. 
On the table now, we have the Chihuahua Long Court. Mrs. L. Cater was the judge, and she found her best of breed, the bitch, number 1181, out of an entry of 77. Although thought to have originated in the state of Mexico after which it's named, it is believed that it may have been introduced to that country by the Chinese. Descendants of a much older Mexican breed, the Takichi, were kept by the Toltecs as lap dogs as early as the 19th century. There are two varieties of Chihuahua, and this is one of them, the Chihuahua Long Coat. The Chihuahua Long Court, number 1181. On the table, we have the Chihuahua Smooth Court, judged today by Mrs. Jane Lilly. She had an entry of 52, and her best of breed was the dog, number 1209. Weighing in as little as two pounds, although most are around six pounds, Early ancestors came from Siberia 10,000 years ago and were then isolated for over 9,000 years until the Europeans arrived. Retained pre-contact DNA is as little as 4%, indicating that the original unique genetic signature has all but disappeared. The Chihuahua Smooth Coat. The Chihuahua Smooth Coat, number 1209. On the table now, the Chinese Crested, Julie Summer, who judged the breed today, and from an entry of 29, she selected the bitch, and the one, two, five, eight, as her best of breed. The Chinese Crested comes in two varieties, the hairless and the powder puff, which is coated. Believed to have been owned by Chinese emperors during the Han Dynasty, i.e. 200 to 220 BC to AD, the breed was only recognised by the FCI as little as 1987 and was recognised by the Kennel Club in 1995, the Chinese press. On the table now, the Cotton de Tuliar, judged by Carl Sparrow. He had an entry of 27, and his selection for best of breed was the bitch, number 1293. Cottons are thought to have originated from a group of small white dogs which swam across the Malagasy Channel following a shipwreck to Madagascar, where it is a national dog. It was kept by Malagasy royalty, and no others were allowed to keep the breed at all. The Coton de Tourier.
the Cotton de Tillyard, number 1293. On the table now, we have the English Toy Terrier, Black and Tan. Mrs. Essa Royal was the judge, and from an entry of 40, she selected the bitch, number 1312, as her best of breed. The English Toy Terrier was also known as the Miniature Black and Tan Terrier until 1960. Renowned for its prowess as a ratter in rat pits against brown rats, which are actually larger than black ones, until the practice was banned in 1911. The ETT, as it is affectionately known, is one of those listed as a vulnerable breed, and in 2020 there were only 75 registered. The English Toy Terrier, Black and Tan. The English Toy Terrier, number 1312. On the table now, we have the Griffon Brusselois. Michelle Swinge was the judge today, and from an entry of 24, she selected as a best of breed, the bitch, number 1345. The Griffon Brusselois comes, as its name suggests, from Brussels and was depicted in paintings by the Flemish artist Jan van Eyck in the mid-1400s. There are actually two varieties, the rough and the smooth, also known as the Petit Brabançon. The breed was virtually wiped out in World War II, and thanks to the vigilance and dedication of principally British breeders, the breed has survived. The Griffin Brusselois. The Griffin Bruce Oban, number 1345. On the table now, we have the Havanese. Dr. Andreas Chanel was the judge today, and he had an entry of 32. His best of breed selection was the dog, number 1363. The Havanese is the national dog of Cuba developed from the now extinct Blanquito de la Habana, translated as the little white dog of Havana. It is sometimes referred to as the Havana silk dog because of its silky coat texture. Mostly owned by wealthy Cubans, many were taken to the USA at the time of the Cuban Revolution. The breed was first imported into the UK in 1993, the Havanese. Number 1363, the Havanese. On the table now, we have the Italian Greyhound. Rob Dunning was the judge today, and from an entry of 29, he selected the bitch, number 1400, as his best of breed. Dating back as far as the eruption of Pompeii, the Piccolo Levriero Italiano, the small Italian greyhound, was one of several miniature versions of larger breeds favoured by aristocrats and royalty during the Renaissance. An African king is reputed to have swapped 200 cattle for one Italian. The breed arrived in the UK in the 17th century.
The Italian Greyhound. The, tr the transmitter has fallen over. The Italian Greyhound, number 1400. On the table now, we have the Japanese chin. Julie Sparrow was the judge, and from an entry of 48, she selected the dog, number 1443, as her best of breed. The Japanese chin is reputed to have reached Japan as a gift from the Empress of China to the Empress of Japan. The word chin means cat-like, and they do use their paws in the manner of a cat to wash their face. A record of the breed's first appearance in the UK is recorded as far back as 1613, the Japanese chin. The Japanese chin, number 1443. On the table, the King Charles Spaniel. Mr. R. Dix was the judge today, and from an entry of 31, he selected the dog, number 1497, as best of breed. The King Charles Spaniel is known as the English Toy Spaniel in some countries, and derives his name from a dog which was a great favourite of King Charles II. The Kennel Club was going to name the breed the Toy Spaniel, but King Edward VII was keen to see the royal connection maintained, and so the name adopted by the Kennel Club was as it is today, the King Charles Spaniel. The King Charles Spaniel, number 1497. On the table now, we have the lotion. Judged today by Mrs. Carol Lees. She had an entry of 15, and her best of breed was the bitch, number 1512. This is also known as the little lion dog because of the way in which it is trimmed. It features in Goya's famous 1797 painting of the Duchess of Alba. It was reputed to be the rarest breed in the world as, late, as recently as 1960 and was recognized by the Kennel Club in 1971, achieving CC status just five years later in 1976, the Lotion, Little Lion Dog. The Lotion Little Lion Dog, number 1512. On the table now, the Maltese. 
Carol Sparrow was the judge, and from an entry of eight, he select sorry, an entry of twenty, my apologies, he selected the bitch for one five one five as his best of breed. Maltese is depicted in a child's toy from 8000 BC and Charles Darwin placed the origin of the breed as 6000 BC. Maltese have been known by many famous people throughout the, the ages right up until modern times. R. Mandeville had a strain of this breed which consistently won at shows from 1869 for 10 years until 1879 and his kennels are considered to have produced the best strain for subsequent breeding, the Maltese. The Maltese, number 1515. On the table now is the miniature picture. Mr. A. Scourfield was the judge, and he had an entry of 14. His best of breed was the dog, number 1547. The miniature pincher is not, as some would believe, a downsized version of the Doberman. It is actually older and was recognized in its native Germany several years earlier as the Ray Pincher. In 1890, Louis Doberman stated that he wished to breed a giant terrier that would look like the five pound Ray Pincher, but would be 15 times heavier and larger. Hence the miniature pincher. The miniature pincher number 1547. <laughs> On the table now we have the papillon. Mr. Laurie Hunt was the judge today and from an entry of 65 he chose the bitch number 1593 as his best of breed. The papillon comes in two varieties. The erect-eared dog is named after the French word for butterfly, papillon, and the drop-eared is named after the word for moth, filet. It was developed on the continent around the same time as the King Charles Spaniel was in Britain, both deriving from the toy spaniels of the day, the papillon. The Papillon, number 1593. On the table now, we have the Pekingese. Mark Kokosa was the breed judge today, 
and from an entry of 34, he selected the bitch, number 1612, as his best of breed. The Pekingese was a favourite of the imperial family in China over a period of over 4,000 years. The Pekingese was recognised in its present form during the Tang Dynasty between 620 to 900 AD. No commoners were allowed to own them. Following the sacking of Peking by the British in 1860, four were found in the ruins of the Summer Palace and were subsequently brought back to the UK, the Pekingese. The Pekingese, number 1612. On the table, we have the Pomeranian. Carl Sparrow was the judge. He had an entry of 47, and he selected as his best of breed the dog, number 1667. The Pomeranian is the smallest Spitz breed and was bred down from the German Spitz. It comes from the Pomerania region in northwest Poland and northeast Germany. Another breed favoured by royalty, Queen Victoria preferred the smaller version and during her lifetime alone, the size of the breed decreased in size by half, the Pomeranian. The Pomeranian, number 1667. On the table now, we have the pug. Mrs. B. Dabbs was the judge, and from an entry of 88, she selected the dog, number 1762, as her best of breed. Pugs were brought to Europe by traders of the Dutch East India Company in the 1600s. They found favour with the House of Orange there. The breed came to England when King William III came to the throne. Queen Victoria became passionate about the breed and passed this on to other members of the royal family. Until 1877, fawn was the only colour to be found until two blacks were introduced from the Orient, the pug. The pug, number 1762. On the table now is the Yorkshire Terrier. Dr. Andreas Schimmel judged the breed today, and from an entry of 25, he selected the bitch, number 1795, as his best of breed. The Yorkshire Terrier probably developed from terriers brought to Yorkshire by Scottish weavers. It made its debut at a show as the broken-haired Scotch Terrier. A dog named Huddersfield Ben is credited with being the father of the breed, being a ratting champion 
as well as a competitor at dog shows, the Russian, the Yorkshire Terry. The Russian Toy Terrier was bred in Russia from the English Toy Terrier. The breed almost disappeared in the 1920s with the surge in communism due to the traditional link with the aristocracy, and again in the 1990s due to the fall of the Iron Curtain. There are two types of coat, smooth and long. The breed was only recognised by the Kennel Club. 2017, the Russian toy town. is now going to around, casting her eyes finally over all the best of breeds before she makes her selection of places. Really good colony. Pekingese. 
Please give the others a big hand as they leave the ring. Thank you. Now we have the Bolognese moving. Now the Chihuahua smooth call. The Maltese.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For the boards, so Grace has obviously made a mind up. Trophies are being presented on behalf of Windsor by Dr. Andrea Chanel and the rosette by Jonathan Wilson Hall on behalf of Royal Cannon, one of our principal sponsors.
We're now ready for the toy puppy group. And once again, Derek Smith is judging all the puppy groups at Windsor. So please welcome him into the ring again, being escorted by our chairman, Mr. Gerald King. First into the ring is the English Toy Terrier Black and Tan, followed by the Atom Pincher, the Beach and Frieza, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, the Chihuahua Long Coat, Chihuahua Smooth Coat, the Chinese Crested, the Griffin Brusawa, the Italian Greyhound, the bottom of the two they are, sorry, I missed that. The Japanese Chin, the King Charles Spaniel, the Lotion, the Miniature Pincher, the Papillon, the Pekingese, the Pomeranian, the Pug, and the Russian Toy Terrier. One of the puppies hasn't yet been examined by Mr. Smith, so we're going to have the English Toy Terrier Black and Tan over to the table to be examined. Toy Veteran Group winners to the collecting ring in 1B. Toy Veteran to the collecting ring in 1B. Derek's now had a final look around and is about to make his shortlist selection. He's bringing out the Athen Pitcher and the Bichon Frise. The Chinese Crested. Griffin Brissawan, the lotion, 
the Pekingese, the Pug, and the English Toy Terrier Black and Tan. Thank you very much. The rest, give them a big round of applause as they leave, please. We're ready for the board, so Mr. Smith has obviously made his mind up. And the toy puppy group winner is the Pekingese. Puppy group two, the Bichon Frise. Puppy Group 3, the Affen Pitcher. And Puppy.
up in Group 4, the English Toy Terrier Black and Tan. Please give the others a big hand as they leave the ring. Good girl. The trophies will now be presented by Dr. Andrea Chanel on behalf of Windsor and the rosettes by Jonathan Wilson Hall from Royal Cannon, one of our major sponsors. Please take them round. The puppy group winner, the Pekingese. Give them a round of applause. Group two, the Bichon Frise. Group three, the Aston Pitcher. And group four, the English Troll Terrier Black and Tan. Puppy group winner will have his photograph taken in the ring and the other placings will be in the admin block. Derek Smith is also the judge for all veteran groups at Windsor and none of the veterans have been judged yet so we will be judging all the veterans as they come into the ring. First, first into the ring is Miss Una Gore escorting our judge, Mr. Derek Smith, into the ring. Please give him a warm Windsor welcome. And now we have the Athen Pincher, followed by the Bichon Frise, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, the Chihuahua Longcoat, Chinese Crested Powder Puff, the Italian Greyhound, the Japanese Chin, the Papillon, and the Pup.
Some pictures were judged today by Mr. Frank Kane and he found his veteran in the ditch, number 926. Cavalier King Charles Spaniels were judged today by Mrs. S. Chapman. She found her best veteran in the dog, number 1128. Lotions were judged today by Mrs. Carolise, and she found her veteran in sorry, apologies, it's actually the Chinese press of powder buff. 
um, Julie Spiral judge should read today, and she found her veteran in the dog, number one, two, five, four. Italian Greyhounds were judged today by Rob Dunning, who found his veteran in the dog, number 1399. Japanese chins were judged today by Julie Spiral, and she found her veteran with the dog number 1451. Happy Ongs were judged by Laurie Hunt and he found his veteran today in the dog, number 1558. Hugs were judged by Mrs. B. Dabbs, and she found her veteran in the bitch, number 1699.
we're ready for the board, so Derek has obviously made his mind up. Thank you. 